Hey guys, this is Michelle. Um, I had to do a new video because I needed to share this um, fun thing that I just found uh, tonight that is just kind of blowing my crafty mind and I shared it on a couple of Facebook pages and it seemed like everybody else's mind is blown. So I wanted to share um, with you a really cool thing. Um, and what we are going to be doing is making cut files by using image fonts. And if you've never done this before, I'm going to kind of show you the step-by-step -step of how this works. Um, but I'm going to start off on um, dafont.com. It's my favorite um, font um, downloading website. There's just a ton of um, really great options to look through. But the category in particular we're going to look at is dingbats. Now you may have used Microsoft Word and other um, just word processing files and notice that kind of they have a web dings, wing dings, and they're all kind of picture symbol type things. Well, that's what all of these dingbats are. Or they, they're picture text. Um, and so we can use those picture texts in Design Space to cut out um, cut files. And they have really... Um, expanded over the years because they used to be super basic and now the categories and the options are endless. So I'm going to um, go to this shapes category in the dingbats because these have the um, shapes in particular that I shared that everybody is freaking out about, especially me because I just never put two and two together to use this and it's just pretty amazing. So it's this very top font here is called Loris Nobilis. I'm going to click that to open it up to kind of show you all of these options. So look at all of these laurel wreaths that are available and all of these different options. Um, you'll see that it has the letter that you type in order to get that. Um, and there are just so many different options. They have single leaves. They've got um, kind of these little wheat stalk looking things. So there are just a ton of options. These are great for monograms and other frames and um, these are super versatile. So if you've never downloaded a font from defont.com, it's super easy. All you're going to do is click download. Now this, keep in mind I am on a Mac, so some of the steps may be a little bit, look a little different, but they should be generally the same thing if you're a PC user. But you, you're going to actually get a zip file, um, so you're going to want to unzip that. And for me, I just am going to click it, and it's going to, um, this was the original zip file, and this right here is what it unzipped to. So you're going to get the name of the font, and it's going to be a .ttf, which just means true type font. You'll see that over here, true type font. So I'm just going to double click that. It's going to show me um, kind of a little mini um preview right here of what it is. I'm just going to hit install font. So then I get this every so often. Um, I think this happens with um, certain fonts that maybe don't have certain licensing. Um, it says that problems have been found with validation. All I do for this is just install. I think it's just giving me kind of a little bit of a warning that this isn't like um, there may be some minor problems with it, but I've never had any issues. I'm just going to hit install. So then from there, I'm going to go into my design space and I actually should be better close this out and then um, open a new, because if you've already had it open and then you install a new font, it's not going to show up. So let me um, just open a new, new session. So the way that we're going to use this is I'm not going to have to do any kind of uploading of images. Um, it's a it's going to be under a font file, but it's going to be images. So what I'm going to want to do is actually write some text. So let me just start with um, like A and B. I'm going to do the upper and lower case, kind of just show you a couple different options. So once I've got my text here, I'm going to go to the edit panel of the text and then I'm going to narrow this down to my system fonts. And then I could scroll down here to find um, it's that Loris Nobilis. I could scroll down, but I'm going to just type it in here. And then it'll actually be pictures. It's not going to say the name of the font there, so I'll just click that. 
and now I've got all of these different wreath options and you can resize them and you'll see that they're all um, if you kind of zoom in here oops wrong way there we go zoom in you'll see that they are just gonna be cut files I mean they're really nicely they were already vectorized um, I don't know if you noticed it said that here it's um, they're already vector images so they're SVG files already um, so they are ready to cut um, one thing you'll want to do the only downfall at least because um, I tried to look in my font book that's where I can see all of the different fonts that I have um, downloaded if I go to um, that file all it shows me is an actual preview it doesn't tell me like how I get those like what letter like the way it does in um, on Defont, where it actually says a capital A looks like this so you may have to reference back to um, the Defont website if you have a specific one that you want to use um, I really like the, the capital B so um, what I'll do is I'm gonna wanna um, ungroup these to get them all by themselves so that I can kind of manipulate them and move them around. Um, I'm going to really just keep the one, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight these and delete those. And then you can just manipulate this. You can even unlock it if you wanted it to be a little bit narrow or wide for any reason. Um, doesn't look great, but and a cool thing too here I haven't tried yeah, if you go to your contour, you can um, like um, maybe make these solid if you didn't want them to be, um, you know, holy leaves. You could make them solid. Um, you could, you'd have to click through a bunch of them in the contour, but you really could get rid of like this entire half of if you just wanted one side. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and undo so that it's all back. Um, one thing you may want to do, well, it looks pretty well like that it's welded together. Yeah, a lot of these areas that it's, so I don't even think you really should need to weld this. Um, it all looks like it's pretty well um, already a solid. Um, so you can see if I go to my map preview that it's like, pretty and nice and ready to cut and there shouldn't be any issues so that's just a super awesome option that I don't think I certainly didn't realize was there um, that is just a really great feature um, I'm going to show you just a couple more really cool ones that I found that I think would be really popular um, with a lot of design space users some Cricut users so I'm going to show you this arrow crafter is super cool um, you can make custom arrows I mean just look through all of these um, she has the word love here I think you just use another font and kind of put it in the middle of these but um, she kind of gives you a little bit of a formula here you're just gonna put your little tail feathers plus um, the dash ends up being if you scroll down here um, the numbers can be some dashes um, the underscore is a long kind of um, stem part of the arrow so you can just scroll through these and see all of these different features and again you'll probably have to reference back to this to make your um, fancy arrow but um, but yeah this is just a super cool um, font to have as an option so I'm gonna try to make this little top heart right here that she had this heart arrow so let's see we're gonna probably need to use lowercase b the heart is I could use five or six so b6 and let's do a little bit more interesting arrowhead b6 um, oh we'll just stick with b6 and then I'm gonna do let's do a capital C so lowercase b6 capital C and then I'm going to go ahead over here into my edit panel. This is lagging a little bit because um, sometimes these more intricate 
Oh, it, see the the laurel wreath. If it doesn't have a character um, associated with it for some reason, it it it's going to give you that error. Um, you'll notice that some of these don't have characters assigned to them. These big boxes. So if you were to attempt to type in any of those letters, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna recognize it. So, anyways, let's look for the arrow crafter, which is all of these arrows. Let me get back to that. B. Let's do five. I think that's the bigger heart. Yeah, B five. I think capital C. There we go. Let's put a little bit more space between those. Let's try number one. There we go. All right, that's pretty awesome. So the only thing you're going to want to do from there, let me make this just a little, oops, a little bit bigger. So you can kind of see. Narrow your spacing to kind of bridge those gaps, and then you'd want to weld your image so that none of those cut lines kind of um, cut into each other so we're gonna weld that and it makes an awesome little cute arrow so that is another super duper um, cool uh, dingbat option so you guys are gonna need to take some time to go through all of these um, dingbat options because there are hundreds of them and they are all amazing. Now, I would be careful in this general area. They get a little bit uh, R-rated, X-rated. Um, but there are just some really awesome... Um, let me show you real quick here. In the TV movie, you're going to see a lot of different, like, Disney characters. You have a whole Disney character ones. Now, these I get a little bit... I've not tried any of these. Um, these might be really good for doing, like, color pages. But I'm not sure how well those are going to cut since they are quite intricate and small, um, they'd probably be really good print to cut. You may be able to try using a marker, like I said, to draw um, like a, maybe a coloring pages with these, but there are just so, so, so many options here. You guys are not even gonna believe it. So um, just go through those and then um, just use what I said, kind of your text and your, um, your downloaded fonts to create some pretty awesome, awesome designs and new cut files. So if you didn't know about this, I'm so happy to share it with you because as you may be able to tell from the tone of my voice, I'm just super excited about this um, to give me just even more options um, of things to do some pretty cool projects. So um, hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. See you soon.